This May, Kyle Larson will make the 11th attempt at the Memorial Day Double, the Indianapolis 500 in the afternoon and the Coca-Cola 600 at night. It's the first time in a decade the challenge has been attempted, and many have speculated who could have done it. In the next two volumes of Racing Infinity, we make up for lost time. We rerun the historic day in 2011, which saw two passes for the win in the final corner, and throw in 10 drivers who will attempt all 1,100 miles. It starts at Indy, as five NASCAR stars take over the greatest spectacle in racing. Today's Racing Infinity is the first of a two-part saga taking place on the same day. On May 29, 2011, we saw possibly the wildest day in motorsports, as Dan Weldon stole the Indianapolis 500 from J.R. Hildebrand, and just hours later, Kevin Harvick stole the Coca-Cola 600 from Dale Hart Jr. In the next two volumes, we rerun both races, but with a twist. Ten drivers will be attempting double duty. Five NASCAR Sprint Cup Series drivers will be running at Indy today, and then five IZOD IndyCar Series stars will be in the Coca-Cola 600 tonight. Our five NASCAR stars come from a variety. First, Tony Stewart will make his third attempt at the double, returning to Indy with his mentor, AJ Foyt. He will be running in the number 40. The 2003 NASCAR Cup champion Matt Kenseth is driving on loan for Chip Ganassi, running the number 37. A veteran of open wheel dirt racing, Casey Kane, will be running the number 15 for Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan with Red Bull support. The Australian Supercars champion and road course ace Marcus Ambrose makes an appearance driving a number 97 for Sam Schmidt. And finally, the five-time defending champion Jimmy Johnson will be in a number 48 entered by Andretti Autosport. As tradition, this race will feature 33 cars. Let's see where they line up as the greatest spectacle in racing is even bigger. Starting on the pole is James Hinchcliffe in the 06, and Charlie Campbell will start second in the 83. The first of our NASCAR guys, Matt Kenseth, he'll start in third, and Elio Castroneves chasing his fourth Indianapolis 500, he'll start in fourth. Danica Patrick with good qualifying run, she'll start in fifth, and Davey Hamilton, a veteran in the circuit, he'll start in sixth. Marcos Ambrose, one of the NASCAR guys again, he'll start in 7th, and Tony Kanan will start 8th. Will Power will roll off in ninth, and Casey Kane will start in 10th. Starting 11th is Marco Andretti in the 26th, and Jimmy Johnson will start 12th. Townsend Bell will roll off in 13th, and Alex Tagliani will start in 14th. Bertrand Baguette will start in 15th, and Ryan Hunter Ray will start in 16th. Behind them, you'll find Ryan Briscoe in the 6th, and starting 18th is the 98 of Dan Weldon. Dario Franchini will start in 19th, and John Andretti running a one-off in the 43, he'll start 20th. J.R. Hildebrand will start 21st, and Graham Rahal will start 22nd. Starting 23rd is the 88 of Jay Howard, and Scott Dixon will roll off 24th. And the last of our NASCAR guys, Tony Stewart, he'll start 25th. And Buddy Rice, a former winner of the Indy 500, he'll start 26th. Simona Di Silvestro will start in 27th, and starting 28th is Ed Carpenter. Starting 29th is the 22 of Justin Wilson, and 30th is Takuma Sato. Rounding out the field is the 07 of Thomas Schechter. Vitor Mira will start 32nd, and rounding out the field is Oriol Servia in the number 2 car. James Hinchcliffe and Charlie Kimball lead the field of 33 cars, and one driver will be writing their name in the history books this afternoon. Who will it be? We're about to find out! The Indianapolis 500 is underway!
Immediately down the backstretch, Charlie Campbell takes the lead from Hinchcliffe. Just about a picture-perfect start here as Kimball will come back around to lead lap one. One of the NASCAR guys already joining the fray as well. That is Matt Kenseth in one of the Ganassi cars. Going on board with Matt Kenseth there. Chasing down Charlie Kimball already. He's looking pretty fast, despite the fact that he's never driven one of these cars before as they roar past the fans in turn three. Charlie Kimball continues to lead the way. Kenseth is looking for an opening, perhaps trying to take the lead. He looks to the inside. Danica Patrick is up there too in third. And now we look from Elio Castroneves' view. Kenseth peeking to the inside, no luck there, as Castroneves peeks to the inside of Danica. He's looking for third. And now the top pack here is single file. Kimball continues to lead. Let's go back on board with Matt Kenseth. Looking for some kind of opening, just finding the right time to strike to take the lead and get all the clean air that you can. Looking back from Kimball's view. Elio Castroneves and Danica Patrick now enter the top five, but after three laps, Charlie Kimball still leads with Matt Kenseth second, but as they hit the turn one, Matt Kenseth goes to the inside and he will take the lead. How about that? The 2003 NASCAR Cup Series champion taking the lead as Danica follows suit. Now down the backstretch, here comes Danica Patrick. Could she potentially make history here today? She takes the lead. And there will be plenty of lead changes. There's plenty of racing left as you see Elio Castroneves take second place from Kenseth. What an exciting start so far to this Indy 500. Patrick leads, but now here comes Castroneves, looking to win his fourth Indy 500. How incredible could it be if he can win his fourth and join an elite club? It certainly would be historical, as Castroneves is looking to get a push from Matt Kenseth. He peeks to the inside of Patrick. Turn three seems to be a favorable place to take the lead, and to make that pass, Castroneves will do so, and he takes the lead. I can't begin to tell you who I think is going to win this race because we are seeing so many passes, so many lead changes, so much action here early. Lots of lead changes going on here as we see Matt Kenseth back up front. That's another thing too. Could we see one of the NASCAR guys play spoiler today? It certainly sounds like something that would be unprecedented, but with five NASCAR drivers in this race, never say never. New contender up front now as Casey Kane and that Red Bull sponsored machine will rocket past Danica Patrick as they come off turn two. Kane now leads, Patrick second, and Marco Andretti in third. An impressive performance so far out of Casey Kane. Casey Kane, of course, he's won the other race that will be ran later tonight. He won the 600 back in 2006. If he can add the Indy 500 to his resume, it would certainly be historical. On board with Marco Andretti, who sits in third. He's been struggling to get past Danica, and now it's showing as Kenseth overtakes him for position. Looks like Will Power will be following suit as well. Could today be the day that we see another Andretti return to victory lane at Indy? Still plenty of racing left to go. Battle up front, it's Danica Patrick, and she's gonna take the lead back. Danica definitely has a strong car today. 
She became the first woman to lead the Indy 500 back in 2005, and in that race, she was leading with less than 10 laps to go. She was so close to history. Can she finally get it done here today? Casey Kane has an advantage here with a push from Marco Andretti. Kane takes the lead once again, and Marco Andretti will follow him as Danica Patrick slips to third. Back behind her is Will Power in the 12. Will Power, one of the rising stars in IndyCar, trying to add an Indy 500 win to his resume. He's looking to get that done here today, and who else but for the one and only Roger Penske. Coming off turn four, here come the leaders down pit road. A tricky, narrow pit road to maneuver through. As we see Danica Patrick making her way down pit road, we're on board with her. And again, this is a very narrow pit road. You have to be careful, especially with so many cars coming down all at once. Most of the leaders make their way down and Danica Patrick says she feels great about her car and needs no adjustments. She'll take four tires and fuel, and she'll be on her way. Danica has a strong car today, and she's looking more and more like a favorite to win this. But we'll have to see how the rest of this race plays out for her. Danica winning the Indy 500 would be historical. Coming off pit road here, Casey Kane pulls out ahead of Danica and Marco Andretti. The rest of the leaders will be making their way down pit road this time, as this will most likely be your top three once everything cycles through. Twenty-four laps are complete. We're getting close to halfway in the greatest spectacle in racing, and there's your top three. Casey Kane, followed by Danica Patrick, and Marco Andretti. That is how they run currently, as Danica starts to chase down Casey Kane, Marco Andretti is just looking. He's going to be ready to pounce here soon if these two keep battling the way they do. In the turn four, look at this. Danica Patrick to the inside of Casey Kane, and she's going to have the advantage. She's going to take the lead once again. And as I said earlier, she's got a strong car. She gets a push from the 26 of Andretti. Kane slips back to third. And now Andretti peeks to the inside. He's got a chance, but not this time. Andretti's trying to hold on as Danica's using that outside line well. She tries to slam the door on him. No success. How about now? Coming off turn four, Marco Andretti leads the Indianapolis 500. We are seeing an incredible battle for the lead between these three as the action continues to heat up. The crowd is on their feet, but now here comes Kane. Casey Kane rockets past Andretti to take the lead back. We are nearing the halfway point, and Marco Andretti leads the way, but he is under fire from Danica Patrick. Down the back stretch, and oh no! Big crash! Horrible crash! Caution is out as Davey Hamilton was just riding the catch fence. He and Justin Wilson with wild rides. A scary moment for both drivers here. But it appears they are moving and now getting out of, or well, at least Davey Hamilton's getting out of his car. Justin Wilson is still rolling. Let's take a look at the replay to see what exactly happened here. So we're on board with Wilson. He gets hit hard and just rides against the wall. Davey Hamilton probably got the worst of that. Justin Wilson comes a close second there. It looked like somebody just hit Wilson that caused a chain reaction of events. And now, let's go on board with Davey Hamilton in the 11. Oh yeah, he, he got loose or he had contact with somebody, came right back up. Oh man, I think that was the 14 of Vitor Mira who got into Davey Hamilton. Oh my goodness, that is just frightening to see. 
I'm certainly glad these drivers are okay because this certainly could have been worse. You begin to wonder if there is some sort of way to protect the heads of the drivers with that open cockpit, especially with the high speeds that these cars are capable of doing in this day and age. Besides that, caution is out for the first time here this afternoon. Coming to the restart, Marco Andretti leads, Danica Patrick is second, Casey Kane is third, Scott Dixon and Matt Kenseth round out the top five as the green flag waves and we're back underway. Off turn two and it didn't take too long for there to be a lead change, Danica Patrick back out in front. Or at least she'll certainly have the advantage going into turn three. That has been a notable spot to take the lead or at least make a pass. As I mentioned earlier, and you see it right there, Danica Patrick now leading the way once again. And I'm sure the crowd here would love to see the first female win the Indianapolis 500. Thirty-five laps are complete. Danica Patrick still leads, but now she's under fire once again from the 26 of Marco Andretti. Once again, two popular drivers in the field battling it out here at Indy. And now back comes Marco Andretti as these two are putting on a great show but now Scott Dixon is looking to insert himself into the picture. Here comes Scott Dixon. Dixon gets past Andretti for the lead as the 2008 winner is looking for his second. Scott Dixon kind of just came out of nowhere and now he has taken the lead and he's always a threat to win here at Indy. Scott Dixon has pulled away, but now it's time for what will most likely be the final round of pit stops. Dixon leads some leaders down pit road. Oh, trouble! Dan Weldon goes spinning! He slides down the front stretch as he... Oh, buddy, Rice! Rice goes flipping, and Marcus Ambrose tagged him too. Oh, my goodness. Wild ride down the front stretch for Buddy Rice. Caution is out for the second time today. So Dan Weldon had to check up for the leaders going down pit road and Jimmy Johnson, one of the NASCAR guys, could not react in enough time and ran into the back of Weldon. And then Buddy Rice, nowhere to go and his quest for a second Indy 500 win comes to an end for this year. And again, just a scary moment there for Buddy Rice, but I'm certainly glad he's all right. And lastly, let's go on board with Marcus Ambrose. Look at all that smoke, just absolutely nowhere to go, and the 44 comes up on him, and Ambrose's day is done. He'll have to take an early flight to Charlotte to get ready for the 600 tonight. We are coming to the restart with 13 laps remaining in the greatest spectacle in racing. Here we go, who's gonna win the Indy 500? Green flag. And now the top four have broken away from everyone else, and now we most likely will get our winner among these four drivers. And those four being Scott Dixon, Danica Patrick, Casey Kane, and Tony Kanan. And I feel like the odd one out of this bunch has got to be Casey Kane, but man, he has been impressing a lot of people here today. He's been running up front for most of this race, and now he's in third with a shot to win the greatest spectacle in racing. How about that? Being able to potentially brag to the other NASCAR drivers that, hey, I managed to go to Indy, and I won the Indy 500 on my first attempt, to say the least. Once again, this pack of four now is Casey Kane ducks to the inside of Danica Patrick. He's looking for second. 
Casey Kane is side by side with Danica Patrick. Down the front stretch, who will get the advantage heading into turn one? And looks like Danica will hang on. She has a chance, 11 laps to go, and all she has to do is get past the nine of Scott Dixon. Here we go, battle for the lead with nine laps to go. Danica Patrick trying to find a way past Scott Dixon, but I would be careful if you make that move too soon. It could cost you an opportunity at glory, but she's gonna make the move anyway. They're side by side down the back stretch. In the three, Danica Patrick now to the lead. Danica Patrick is leading as we are coming to eight to go. Tony Kanan has followed suit. He is up to second. This finish could be one for the ages. In the turn three, and Tony Kanan has the advantage. He has a push from Scott Dixon. Tony Kanan has taken the lead as the laps continue to wind down. And Danica Patrick is stuck on the outside. She is losing ground. She's trying to fight back, though, on the outside. She's battling Scott Dixon for second. She's going to have to try and clear him going into turn one if she can. And she's not going to be able to. Danica is fading. Danica has faded all the way back to fourth. She's running out of time, but she's still with this group right here. But now you see Casey Kane up there. He's looking to pull the upset. Five laps to go, and Scott Dixon has the run. Into turn three again, and we get another lead change. Dixon has taken the lead, Casey Kane follows, and Danica Patrick is looking to move up to third. And now Tony Kanan is fading himself. He's gonna fall back to fourth, but he's side by side with Danica. Perhaps he can try and get a run going into turn one, as we have four laps remaining, and Danica will go to third. Four laps to go, and here comes Casey Kane. Kane takes the lead going down the backstretch. A NASCAR Sprint Cup driver out in front in the Indy 500. He's looking to play a huge spoiler. And he has been by far the best of the NASCAR guys in this race. And man, it would be a shocker if Casey Kane could somehow pull this off. Still plenty of racing left. This is a big, big track. Three to go, and Dixon is back at it. Here comes Scott Dixon, and he will take the lead. Dixon is not backing down without a fight, and neither will Danica. Here comes Danica. She's up to second now, and now she's looking for the lead. In the turn three, Danica is there. Danica Patrick has taken the lead. Coming to two laps to go. The crowd's going wild. Tony Kanan is back up to second, but he and Dixon are still battling. Two laps remain, and if I'm at the track right now, get those cameras out, get those smartphones out, you might be witnessing history. Less than five miles left here at Indy, and all Danica has to do is hit her marks and keep these three behind her. Can she pull this off? Nobody in the crowd is left sitting. Going on board with Danica. I'm sure there is a lot going through her mind right now, but all she has to do is look at what is ahead. Don't let anything get to you and hit your marks. White flag for Danica Patrick. Final lap of the Indy 500. Tony Kanan is second, but he needs a run. Kane is there too. Now they come off turn two. Danica still leading, trying to hold everyone off. She might actually pull this off. Down the back stretch for the final time. The crowd on their feet. She hasn't won since Japan in 2008, but this one will be even bigger. Off turn four, for the first time ever, a woman is going to win an Indy. Danica Patrick has won the Indianapolis 500. Danica has done it. Have you ever? Danica has done it. Danica Patrick 
wins the Indianapolis 500, a historical Indianapolis 500, one that we won't forget for many years to come. And not only that, she is one of the five IndyCar drivers running the double. So she has a chance to pull an upset later tonight and do something unprecedented that we have never seen before. And now let's take a look at your final results for the 2011 Indianapolis 500. So once again, Danica Patrick is your winner. She leads 16 laps the most in this race for her second career IndyCar Series victory. Tony Kanaan comes in second. Casey Kane, the highest of the NASCAR drivers, finishing in third. Scott Dixon, fourth. And Dario Franchini in fifth. After that, the two Andrettis in the field. How about John Andretti quietly working his way to sixth? Marco Andretti finishing seventh. Matt Kenseth finishing eighth. James Hinchcliffe ninth. And Elio Castroneves in tenth. So two of the NASCAR guys actually managed to finish in the top ten. As you look at the rest of the results here, you see Ed Carpenter there in 12th, Ryan Briscoe in 14th, Charlie Kimball finishing in 15th, Alex Tagliani 18th, Will Power dropping back to 20th, Ryan Hunter Ray 22nd, Thomas Schechter is 24th, Dan Weldon with that late spin finishing 26th, Tony Stewart was 27th, Jimmy Johnson 28th, Marcos Ambrose in 30th as he Buddy Rice, Davey Hamilton, and Vitor Mira did not finish this race. Well, it's certainly going to be a memorable one for Danica Patrick, but we're not done here. This is a two-parter. So in the next Racing Infinity, you're going to see the other side of this Memorial Day doubleheader, the 2011 Coca-Cola 600. The five NASCAR stars who competed at Indy are now on their way, and they're bringing five IndyCar regulars, including today's historic winner, with them. Until then, I'm Gray Speed Productions, and I will see you in the next video.